Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, on the bright side, I've got three perfectly good classes here. They're like some of my favorite classes for the arena, except I've played them all relatively recently, but Paladin and Shaman are actually not that horrible. Well, we're going to go with Shaman, because I have a quest. Don't judge me. That's okay, the quest is for five wins, so I better do really well. Now, show me the Yeti. Um... I'll take Defender of Argus. And Argus some totems. That's not bad at all. It's almost like synergy. I could raid leader a whole bunch of totems. I don't know if that's really synergy or if it's kind of just weak us. You know what? Maybe take the Wind Fury Harpy. Might have stuff to boost her. Who knows? Um, Hex is good. Let's get a Hex. I have some way to deal with things. Um, of these three cards, you are clearly the best. Uh, stop giving me this. We'll take Argent Squire. I never play Argent Squire, but they're, like, theoretically good. They're good if you have buffs. Um, what do we want out of these? I'll take the Jungle Panther. Why? I don't even know. Why couldn't this row have been mixed up with the last one? Okay. Shieldmaster is very good. I right? Like, he just fights. And I'm fine with that. But... Fork Lightning would give me area damage, which, I mean, I'm only six cards in, but I don't know if I'm going to get any more area damage. Now, this is kind of a pain in the ass. It has a lot of flaws. It's no Lightning Storm. Earthshock. I might just take an Earthshock, because Silence is really good. The current environment. Um, Let's take the Brewmaster. It's more interesting. Okay, well, this is pretty clear-cut. Uh, Azure Drake is pretty good. I mean, it's really good. The spell damage is awesome. It draws you a card. That's awesome. So this isn't actually all that clear-cut. Between these two, like, these are two of the most... These cards have, like, the most taunt you can get for the least mana. Like, they're both kind of crazy that way. But Feral Spirit is, obviously, its drawback is you pay two next turn, and it works out much better normally. Between that and the Azure Drake, though, that's a little trickier. I'm going to go with the Shaman-specific one, though. Um, Lava Burst is very strong. Auctioneer could draw me several cards. I mean, probably not too many. I'm probably not going to have that many cheap spells. The Nerubian Egg is also awesome, and so is the Lava Burst. I've got the Egg. I've got the... Uh, I've got one... Defender of Argus that goes with that. I could get more stuff. I'd certainly try and hunt for more stuff, because it all synergizes with totems, too, but Auctioneer and a Lava Burst. Ah, Lava Burst blows things up. <coughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to take the Lava Burst. It's the most straightforward. It doesn't need to interact with things. Yeti! Yeti is good. Uh, Ancestral Healing is okay-ish, but the Axe is very good. We like the Axe. Now, we don't like any of you guys except you. You're you're pretty nice. Uh, so, Hand Knight is very good. On the other hand, having the Wind Fury not built into a creature, like, she's expensive ass. Whereas this is pretty cheap if you throw it on something good. I'm, I need to get some fire elementals or something. I'm a little low on minions so far. I mean, we're only halfway through the deck, though. Wind Fury is good. Ah, I guess I'll take it. I'm going to need more, like, minions and stuff. Um, wow, you guys are all really second-tier sort of guys. I've got a little bit of spell damage. I might take the Geomancer. See if I can get that to work out for me. Uh, we're going to take the Shattered Sun Cleric. She goes with our Argent Squire and with our Totems. Uh, we'll take another Scarlet Crusader. Those other guys are kind of expensive and I don't like them. Flame Tongue Totem is the powerhouse. Um, I need more meat to throw out there. He's tempting. I'm going to take the Gigantor here. I had this choice before. 
you are much more generally good than these other things, but I have more things to give attack now, which makes this way more tempting, because I've got, yeah, I've just added a whole bunch of things that can give attack, basically. Got the uh, the Shattered Sun Cleric, and the Flame Tongue Totem, and the Stormwind Champion in theory, although that's a really expensive combo. I could take the Lava Burst, and I have extra spell damage, plus, I mean, you can already get spell damage because you're a Shaman. This would be another minion that can help me fight, though. Yeah, let's take the Lava Burst. We'll have, like, a significant direct damage component. Hello. This guy's vulnerable to Big Game Hunter, but I'm still going to take him over the shade because he's powerful. I don't get to play with him very often because I don't own any. Um, I don't know if you guys... I think I need the fatness more. I think I'm going to take the tiger, even though the Acolyte of Pain is pretty awesome. Uh, this stuff is... You're not what I want in an expensive minion, even though it doesn't take that much to make him good. This thing is drawbacks, not good. Well, I guess we'll just take the panther. We're going to take you, because you really, like, slow down my opponent's advance. Um... It's tempting to take him. I mean, he's good with my weapon, but I only have one weapon. I'm not likely to get any more. You, I can still make totems while I have you out, but I don't think I need to stoop to that. I think Gnomish Inventor drawing me a card might almost be more helpful. Now, I'm going to take this guy. This guy, for five mana, he gives pretty good amount of stat. Like, it, not fabulous, but it's a pretty good amount of stats. The weapon thing is just a tight, trivial bonus, not really a consideration. Yeti, awesome. Fire Elemental, even more awesome. It's actually about as awesome, but we want the Fire Elementals. I wish I had a whole lot more Fire Elementals. Um, You guys are all... I mean, you're charged, but I actually have a bunch of direct damage already. I'm going to go with the spell damage, because why not? And another Scarlet Crusader. We'll just throw Scarlet Crusaders all day long. Um, oh, this is interesting. These guys are all powerhouses. I was never as big a fan of the mind control tech, even though he's so potentially good. A lot of times he's not as good. The Pyromancer, on the one hand, could be counterproductive, but that's assuming that I have stuff being kept alive on the board. A lot of times you aren't. And how many spells do I have? One... Two, three, four, five, six. You know, I've, I've got six spells. They all cost three or less upfront cost, but no AOEs either. Oh. See, he's good for finishing, but actually, with no area of effect spells, maybe the Pyromancer is not enough. Maybe I should just take the Mind Control tech. I'm going to just take the Mind Control tech. He's less prone to backfire, as ironic as that is for a crazy no Mind Control dude. Um, so, good things. So we have some methods of killing the opponent. We've got the, uh, the Wind Fury spell. Wind Fury Harpy is pretty fatalizing. We've got several, a decent chunk of sort of mid to large minions. And, of course, two Lava Bursts. The Lava Bursts really slow you down if you have to use them as removal, though. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll pitch that and keep one of the Lava Bursts, or just go for more minions? I think I'm just going to go for more minions. Maybe silly. But I do have the options as I'm going second. I could go Coin, Th Scarlet Crusader, and then next turn, Shattered Sun Cleric her. That is potentially a very good round, but I mean, it totally depends. My opponent could totally screw it somehow. What does the druid have going for me? What does the druid say? Uh, no second turn play here. The deck does have a horrendous amount of three cost minions. Oh, three cost cards, I should say, because all my removal is three cost, not counting the overload. Alright, that's not too scary a turn. Yeah, let, let's start with the. Uh, Kung Fu Crusaders. I mean, I could put out the Jungle Panther and then buff it 
the Shattered Sun Cleric. This is a backup plan we have if she gets killed. But her ability to fight with things, to, to kill things and survive, or at least force him to kung fu her and take a whole bunch of damage, that's pretty good. He's a little unpleasant, but okay. I'm gonna... S am I gonna stick with this plan? Maybe... I don't need her to be bigger right this second. I'm actually gonna play another one. Because I can. This is a lot of bubbles I've got out there. Now, if he plays the bubble ceiling guy, I'm gonna, like, lose my shit. Because that would be such a ridiculous thing to pull off. That I, he would actually have that, and that I would have a start where I'm just throwing out multiple bubbles. Okay, so you knocked off each of their bubbles, and then you're not attacking. Okay. That was his four mana turn, so next turn he can do two damage to everything. That is not ideal. Alright, um, he would be good because he's planning on killing them, and the ghoul would grow, obviously, but I, he's going to run into too much problem with this thing. So I'm going to play the Yeti instead. And deliver some beat down. He may be of the, like, a lot of people have said in the comments, that you play the Noxoramus Shade and you just don't attack with it ever. Which is interesting. Like, you use it as a finishing move. My life total is effectively ticking down as long as this thing is ticking up. But, I don't know. I'm going to do a horrendous amount of damage to him in the meantime. He's going to do two damage to everything. Yeah. Oh, swipe. Okay. One damage to everything. That's right. He only needs one. Fair enough. Then he plays a zombie chow to help heal me back up. That is okay. Uh, we're not going to play the Earth Elemental now. That would be excessive. But I'm thinking the Spiteful Smith might be good. I mean, it could do Totem and Flesh Eating Ghoul. But I, I, I think this guy will do even better. Yeah, it's actually kind of lame. I'm not making any Totems this game. But I had such a handful of medium-sized like beatdown machines. Seemed like the thing to do was just keep playing them. Naturalize him. You really didn't want him. Well, there's my cards back. Oh, that's no good. Uh, I think it's Earth Elemental time. It's Earth Rune time. Especially since he just naturalized. Maybe he's all out of naturalized. If he doesn't have another, like, naturalize or something of that nature, he's going to be kicking himself, because this is the one you want to blow up. It's already, like, I've already had to pay, I pay the overload even if it dies instantly. If he has a big game hunter, then I'll be kicking myself, but, I mean, I'm, this was the thing to play. I wasn't wrong to do it. <coughs> Heals me. Okie dokie. <coughs> so I only have four mana this turn. Not the best, but we can work with that. If I just play this thing, and that, that'll kill it. I suppose I can play one of these. And then that'll be able to kill that if, once it reveals itself. Because I don't, I don't like my other op, my other play options particularly much. I fight. I'll have more options next turn when I have mana again. Well, that's not great. Well, I could take that down with the flame tongue totem anyway. Mm, 
you know what? I'm gonna save my flame tongue totem. I mean, he fights the tiger just fine. I might as well not lose this thing. I mean, yeah, it would save me five damage, but it's much more effective if I play it before things attack. Now he's gonna kung fu this. So he's got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage out there. Racing would be pretty bad since I've used up all my taunt options. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, like, I'd like to get him out, but he's not doing enough. I need to have an army for him first, pretty much. I can kill this with my, uh, with my axe. That's not a super amazing deal. Well, I mean, that's fine, but I mean, it's not getting me that far. So, play the Flesh Eating Ghoul, I think. That's three, four, five, so I have four mana left. I'm just going to end up doing, like, Panther, I guess. I did very good. Fushing Ghoul is at least semi large. I don't know though, like my card advantage has petered out even after the naturalize. And my life total is not as high. The Alarmo bot. I'm gonna guess the Alarmo bot is a trick, but I don't know for sure. Okay, first off, do I have lethal damage here? So if, for five mana here, I get this is seven damage, eleven, twelve, thirteen, like fourteen. I'm not gonna be able to do it, right? Yeah, because I put this down. Hit for six, seven, eight, nine, plus five, fourteen damage. So I can't do it this turn. And only one, even with spell damage, it would only add one. That's assuming the mana even works out, which I'm not really counting properly. So I could play him. This would be big enough to kill her. I would have two mana left with which to make a totem. And then I'd kill this thing, I guess. It's not the worst. Let's see what totem I get. All right, Taunt Totem is the best one for this purpose. I think we're going to go this way. I could try and burn him down. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to kill this. How much can he hit, him, hit me back for? Still a lot. No, you know what? He might have a hard time killing me. I'm just going to burn him down. Because the thing... Unless the card he has in his hand is going to do a whole bunch of damage to me. Which it could. He could have a... Or star... Fire? Yeah. Because this is going to take... Hmm. About, f like, at least two or three damage worth of stuff. And then he's only hitting me for six, so unless he's got something good in his hand, I should survive this turn. And I have the Lava Burst to, be to burn him down with. Although, he neutralized a lot of my stuff. Yeah, but he spent all his effort doing that, so he wasn't killing me, so I, should, I still have it. Even without that guy.
Let's use him for the spell damage. I could just use her to boost something up. Too. Yeah, I think burning him down was the correct option, because after... I still had it in my head that he had like a ton of damage out there, but after I traded the panda for the tiger, his ability to damage me had dropped significantly. Alright, well, that went pretty well, but this deck still has no AoE, so we're going to see how it all goes down next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.